Before Auraria became the tri-college campus we know it today, it was home to thousands of working-class immigrants filled with mills, warehouses, and factories. When the project to build a college in the neighborhood was approved in the 1960s, the residents were forced out, and an era of Denver's history was lost. Metro's Department of Sociology and Anthropology, in cooperation with CU Denver and CCD, have completed several archaeological digs across campus over the years, and right now, they are digging around 9th Street Park, one of the oldest and most intact areas of the old neighborhood. I spoke with Dr. Michael Kolb about the current project, what his students have uncovered, and what they've learned about Auraria's past. Well, uh, the excavations that we've been working on uh, on the Auraria campus actually have been long-standing. Work has been done around here for uh, since the 80s, really. However, uh, the last few years, we've been looking at uh, the historic district. It became, of course, West Denver, a very working class industrial area. Uh, lots of people lived here, uh, worshiped here, played here, grew up here, and that the state in the, in the beginning in the 50s and through the 60s really wanted an urban campus. And because it was that era of urban renewal, and they wanted students to come right to work and go study and so on downtown. So what they did is, of course, they exercised eminent domain and they and they kicked everybody out. We called the displaced terrarians. And so part of our excavations is working uh, to understand, right, um, and to tell the story of many of those people uh, who resided here, not only the original settlers, but also the displaced terrarians as well. The artifacts and stories are on display in the Auraria Library in an exhibit titled I Am Auraria, which features 44 recovered items that go back as far as the 1800s. Students Sean Coble and Ryan McConnell helped to curate the exhibit and spoke more on the discoveries they've made and what the display hopes to achieve. When we pull them out, artifacts out of the ground, um, there's tons of them. And obviously we can't put everything in there. We have to pick out what we call what, uh, diagnostic things with paint on them, things with lettering or maker's marks that tell us where they came from. Uh, this can give us a better picture of what these people were using and where, where they've been, essentially. I've also learned about these, these families' history and their past, and how they lived, you know, how they ate. Um, we found like vehicle parts for Model T Fords, you know, and so, yeah, it tells us we had a horseshoe in one layer and then a spark plug in another layer. Someone bought a car at some point, you know. That dig um, essentially was to prove, A, that um, this was not a, gen uh, a blighted ghetto area um, when the Denver Renewal Project was happening out when they pushed all the Aurarians off of this property to build the campus. Um, and we were able to prove that. We found a bunch of uh, artifacts that were uh, mostly middle class uh, middle uh, to upper middle class um, and we found no evidence of blight or ghetto in the area it actually seemed to be a thriving community and our finds from that ended up in the Auraria library where uh, me and my uh, the other TA Sean um, set up a uh, exhibit through History Colorado to display all that so eventually they want to find the exhibit a permanent home in a museum and in the meantime the teams will continue to dig up the dirt and hold history in the palms of their hands for the Met Report, I'm Alex Petrich.